So to help illustrate um, the idea of the responsive um, uh, layout, uh, I want to show you basically just some other ones. So um, fix is what we already made. So it's just an absolute dimension of the number of pixels by a number of pixels. Liquid is a fluid proportionately stretched one. I'll show you an example underneath. Responsive is the one I just talked about where it'll shift elements around. There's also adaptive. Um, and that what that one will do is it'll actually look at the device that it's on and then change it. So a really good example is that if you go to certain websites, they don't all have this. But if you're on a desktop or a laptop, it will show just if you look at the um, the uh, the URL, it'll just say, you know, www whatever HTTPS, whatever. But if you go on your mobile device, it'll say M dot the website name. Um, because what they'll do is if they can tell that it's a mobile device, they'll actually have a separate website that they send to mobile devices um, instead of what they would send to a desktop. Um, I would say, generally speaking, this is not the best way because then you're forced to basically make two separate layouts. Um, so responsive is kind of what people are using. I don't think people even use this one as much anymore, but there was a time when we were transitioning from the two, and that's kind of why that happened. Anyway, let's go down the line just so you can see. Oh, also, when you look at it, uh, the difficulty... So fixed is the easiest one to make. Liquid's a little bit easier because all you do is just change your your absolute pixel sizes to percentages. Um, responsive is a little bit more complicated, and then adaptive obviously is twice as much work. So if we were to look at a fixed layout, it'd be something like this. So if you were to take that and bend it back and forth, you can see that we're hiding the pixels or that we're hiding the content as we make the browser um, uh, longer or wider and and less wide. Um, and basically, you just when you write the code, you just write it as absolute pixels. Um, there's some advantages of this because it will look exactly as you code it because you've said it's this many pixels. So there's not going to be any weird like shifting around or stretching or scaling or any of that sort of stuff. It should be exactly what it is. There won't be any weird text issues where you have orphans or widows where you have like one, like uh, you have the end of a paragraph that's just one sentence, things like that. There are other issues where you might end up with gaps or hidden edges. So gaps just means like if the page, if this goes past that, there's just a big old white space on the end. Um, it might be hard to read if it's a high resolution because the resolution's so high, so it'll make the font type small because it's only that many pixels tall. Um, so it's not typically, uh, it's it's not the preferred layout. And generally speaking, you should mostly try to avoid it. It's easier to work with. That's why we did that first. But in the future, um, it's best to, to not do that. So let's look at liquid. Um, sometimes they'll say fluid is another way of putting it. Um, basically, liquid is sort of like the other. Um, but instead of using absolutes, you use percentages. So I'll just say the body should take up 100% of the uh, width of the browser window. Okay. So um, what that means is if I made that 50%, the text would only ever go to 50% and it would scale back and forth with this, but there'd be 50% that would be white space. By doing 100%, I'm just making it go all the way to the edge. So some advantages of this is that it will always fill the screen because it's just going to fill it up. Um, it works with big and large screen or small and large screens. Um, and it tolerates adjustment. So if people want to make it bigger or smaller, they can do that. Uh, the biggest issue with it is that it's the, um, the design overall can really just vary. So you can end up with like really like, watch this, the scales. It's a really tight, long paragraph or then a really wide, short paragraph. And that doesn't look very good. Um, it's, it's just, it, it's difficult to predict how it's going to look. So most of the time you usually don't want to do liquid either. Um, but if I was going to choose one or the other, I'd probably do liquid over fixed. Um, now I'll show you responsive. I can't really show you adaptive because I'd have to show you like two separate websites. I guess I could do maybe like a link to this website, but you're not gonna be able to see it because it's only going to show you the one. I don't know, but I, I don't have a way of showing that one. The way responsive works is that it will, um, some, so sometimes it does implement actually some scaling. So you might have images that as you drag the window out, it'll scale the image accordingly. Um, but the other thing that it'll do is that it'll actually stack the, um, the paragraphs on top of each other. So you can see this one will then go down here. And then the next one will go down underneath. Well, you can probably can't see my cursor. They'll go underneath and underneath. So like if you squish my site, this will become one column. Um, this will become here. And then this column will go underneath it and be here. So it allows basically the shifting of the elements around depending on the width of the screen. Um, it also takes in, uh, into account the device that it's on. Uh, there's a lot of um, other advantages, but it's it's mobile first. So that also means, again, most people are going to be on their phones when they're on websites now. It's going to be uh, better for that purpose. So, I mean, if that's 
you have to go where your your target audience is. If that's where your target audience is, then you need to make your stuff work with that. Um, it's a little bit more complicated to code, but in some weird ways, I actually think it's a little bit easier because once you have it laid out, you just have to kind of stick your stuff inside of it. Um, it makes organizing the page a lot easier. 